Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is iTech411, and these are 10 more hidden features of iOS 8. Now, I did a video of this just the other day, and here I have 10 more features that Apple did not talk about in their press conference or WWDC 2014. If you want to see 10 more features, I'll have the link in the description of this video where you can watch my other video. Also, make sure you check out my other iOS 8 videos as I have a lot more. Give this video a like, comment any specific videos you want me to make, and subscribe. So the first feature I'm going to show you today comes in Safari, and this will actually have to do with uh, making it a desktop site. So see I have a mobile site here, and if you go to the search bar, and then you go ahead and scroll up, you can see request desktop site option, and you click on that, it will go to the full desktop site, which is great if you do not want to be stuck with the mobile site. Now the next feature has to do with the share options, and this can be for photos, videos, documents, web pages, whatever. You can now rearrange the share icons and the different applications, and which later will have third party applications. But you can rearrange these and you can even limit them, which ones you want to have on, which ones you want to have off by turning the little uh, dials. And this allow you to really customize what apps you want to share with and the order that you see them. This is also for the bottom row. Now the third feature you can find under settings, general and accessibility, and this is a pretty simple one, but it's nice for people that uh, maybe don't have the best eyesight or want to zoom in more in pictures or documents or emails or whatever it is, but now there are additional zoom settings and additional zoom controls in the settings app, and you activate this by double tapping with three fingers, and basically all this is is a bunch of more settings and features that you can get now with Zoom. So it's a lot better if you're somebody that uses Zoom on your iPhone or your iPad. Now with iOS 8, there are more options. Now the next one might be the most useful of all these hidden features, at least for photographers, and that would be manual control for exposure, a feature that's been missing from the iPhone for a long time. It's finally here, and now you can finally expose or have your exposure set manually, which is a great and awesome new feature that I think a lot of people will be using. Up next is a feature that's really more about organization, I think, and that's when you scroll down to the bottom and you look at all the apps in your settings, normally you go in and it will just tell you what version of the software it is and basic boring stuff like that. You never even look down there. But now when you go down there, each app has its own settings, such as notifications, privacy, uh, background usage, and then use cellular data. This is a great option if you want to use and toggle each one individually, so you can better control each app, and it's a cool new feature. Up next is a feature in messages, so you go into settings and you go down to messages. We now have an option at the very bottom for storing messages. Now, normally it always store your messages for until you deleted them, but now you have the option of 30 days or one year. These will basically self-destruct or self-terminate or self-delete, in other words, uh, your messages after that amount of time that you select, or if you select never, it'll only delete it if you physically swipe it away and delete it. Now the next one is more of a shortcut, and I'm not sure if Apple will actually keep this, but when you take a picture and then you go to view your gallery and then you click all photos, it'll actually take you to the photos application and away from the camera application, so you can quickly jump from taking a picture to viewing your photos and your albums in the photo application. So like I said, it's just kind of a shortcut. The next couple can be found under settings and photos and camera. And these are a couple small ones. Now the first one would be uh, turning the grid on before we did that in the camera app. But now you have to do it in the settings app, which is a little bit annoying. It's kind of less convenient than if it was in the camera app. And also you have the ability to keep the normal photo when you take an HDR picture instead of just keeping the HDR. The next feature I have for you would be under settings, general accessibility, and this is accessibility shortcut. This allows you to triple click the home button and they've added a new one, a uh, grayscale this year. So now if you do that one, it will turn your whole device into black and white. But now you also have the ability to select any of those just by triple clicking. So it was a pretty simple one, but they added grayscale and some other controls for different accessibility options. So now you can select all of those or you can just select one. And when you do that, you see it turns my phone black and white. And if I do it again, hopefully it will, as you can see there, uh, go back into full color. Now the tenth and final one I have for you today would be a really cool one in your photos or camera app. Now this would be metadata on your pictures. I can see here it labeled this as National World War II Memorial. It even gives the day it was taken and the time. 
and it is right i did take it at the world war ii memorial and it has the right time and date which is a really cool feature you can see i have another one here of the ww2 memorial and then finally i have one of the fdr memorial park and again you can see it has the time and the date which is really cool that it labeled that automatically so those are 10 hidden features if you want to see another video just like this where i have some other cooler features make sure you check the description make sure you subscribe like this video and comment any other videos you want me to make and follow me on twitter itechroll11 and i'll see all of you guys hopefully in another video very soon